mortified, OK? Buttock clenchingly mortified. No issues. No issues, honest. Kept waking up in the night, reliving the moment. Oh. Me and Vic, it didn't work out before. Stuff happens, all right? Like I'm bothered. Yeah, well, I know that now, obviously. But not everybody else does, so if you don't mind repeating what you just said to your mum, she's not happy, and when she's not happy... She... Look, just tell me what to say, all right? I'll see you later. For what it's worth... I'd rather you and Vic had got together than that Neanderthal with the freakishly large biceps. I mean, he's got fair Love Island wannabe written all over him. So what does she see in him? I mean, not that I care who she sees or anything, but I just... Pipe, please, mate. I'm knackered. Tough day. Look, Aaron's a great boss, but I never thought scrap would be so heavy. <laughs> Keep going and you'll be as ripped as Leon. Who? Larry Lee on the Dreaming. Fixed date from last night. Second date. She must be keen. A bit too keen, if you ask me. Yeah, well, I hope it all works out for her. I don't. Seriously, mate, I thought you were bad news, but he is a I thought Vic had better taste than that. Yeah, well, I didn't realise what she really wanted was a thick-necked, muscle-bound bodybuilder with no conversation. <laughs> well, if Vic wants to date an idiot, then that's up to her. I thought she was dating you. <laughs> She's moved on at warp speed, by the look of it. What's this guy like? OK, if you like egotistical, narcissistic, muscle-bound sleezers. She was very tactile, and that's a tactful way of saying it. But in here? Mm, not a good look. Well, Vic's a grown woman. She's single. She wants to move on with a... With a guy that can lift 140 kilos. Well, then it's up to her. 